What is up YouTube? I'm McIntyre here. I'm bringing you a new fun video. Uh, the new patch uh, has come through. Uh, pre, I guess, Axe West. Where some changes are to Hammer. There's a Great Main nerf. I think a Kael'thas nerf. And there's a Tyrael change. Which I think some might think of as a nerf. But there's something fun that I think they've introduced to Tyrael. And that's follow through. So today I wanted to talk about a new melee assassin Tyrael build that I think will be fun to play and then I'm going to have a gameplay of the video uh, using the build. So go over the build first and then we'll kind of talk about it a little bit and then play the play the build. First talent is going to be Purge Evil. I think most of the talents are going to revolve around your smite and you just we're just going to want to put out as much damage as possible and just be able to take 1v1s really easily with Tyrael. Um, so the first talent is going to be Purge Evil, which is going to increase the damage that Smite does by 30%. Um, to, um, the next actually is going to be Herodric Reforging. And the reason for this is this is going to decrease the cooldown of our Q by 5 seconds every time we hit it. Instead of taking Swift Retribution, I think I like this more. Because the lower the cooldown is on our abilities, the more follow through procs we'll get. So I think this is going to be more damage over time because of the cooldown reduction. Um, at 7, I'm actually going to be taking follow through. Obviously, the build being built around it. It's kind of like playing Thrall or Zeratul. He'll be like more like them now. And you want to, you know, hit your abilities in between each auto attack. Um, at 10, I'm going to be taking Judgment. So the reason behind Judgment is I want to be able to immediately get on to, say, a squishy like Zagara or something and just try to take them out as quick as possible. So... I can judgment to them i can use all my cooldowns and potentially blow them out so the next one is going to be angelic might this one's going to be i think a bit difficult to use but just for the sake of fun i, I want to try it out this is going to increase our attack damage on our nick's basic attack by 80 percent per hero hit by smite so x there is is kind of important so if i hit four people Okay, with my smite, then I'll have four crits or 80% plus damage on top of my fall through. Right? So the more people I hit with smite, the better that is. But obviously, if I hit one person, I'll still get an increase in damage. And again, we're just trying to one shot people. Um, we're going to be trying Angelic Might. I think imposing in the future with this build will probably be stronger since it's very overpowered. But I'm um, at 16. We're going to go with Blood for Blood. Again, even if the target is squishy, it is increasing. I mean, it, it's dealing uh, a more percentage of damage, right? The 10% could be what makes or breaks the kill. And at 20, we're going to try Nexus. Angel of Justice, if I think the composition looks good for it. Angel of Justice, obviously, increasing the cooldown of Judgment by 40 seconds. Again, only a 30 second cooldown is pretty sweet. I think it could catch the other team off guard, but Nexus Blades is going to increase my damage. So I think that Nexus probably in this case is going to achieve what I want. So just to go over the basic combo really quick before you start the game off, what I'm going to be looking to try to do here. If I have Judgment up and I see a kill opportunity, then I'll Judgment. But if not, I'll probably Sword in, attack, E, attack, shield, attack, and run away. That's basically the basic combo there. Should come out ahead of most trades. Um, the other could be, you know, E and then get the auto and kind of trade. You can throw your sword away, auto, and then E to your sword. Or Q to your sword too. So remember, you can throw your sword to escape, get an auto in for the um, and And then the, the, the kind of all in will be a judgment. You can blood for blood immediately. Kind of want to work all your autos. In. And that, in most cases, almost 3,000 damage should be enough, hopefully. They kill someone in the back line. So that's the build. Try it out in this game. We'll see how it goes. All right. Let's find out how good the build really is. It looks like their team is going to be harder to kill this game, but I think that I have a couple good targets that I can go after. Nova, Lily, Ariel. Again, all pretty reasonable. I have to watch out for the Joanna. I think I should be fine here. 
will say that I think this Tyrael build is definitely better with another tank. But I do not think that it Turn it up. I do have the lead support. Maybe I can push over the double blind. Follow through. This game I also have no reason to really go imposing will. So that's a plus as well. Hammer loads up. Gotta always style. I'm playing Heroes of the Storm. It's like one of the best things about the game. <laughs> so you know I'm on the Wonder Billy with the white material. So again, we're gonna take Purge Evil level one. Roderick Recording four. Fall through seven. Judgment ten. Dalek Might thirteen. Blood. I think like in the beginning actually don't have too much strength oh maybe I do I think the uh this build really uh scale at once I hit Seven. Looks like Kerrigan hit in the tap and thinking she's a lot stronger than she actually is. I think uh, another thing about this build is it'll actually allow Tyrion to be pretty strong in the solo lane. Like, you guys can already see my hero damage is top. Due to her shields, or his shields at with his W taunt. Oh, what are you doing, Hammer? Um, you can kind of, you'll be able to like trade really heavily at seven with the follow through. Opa. We get damage back on the Kerrigan again. I'm taking a lot of damage. The curse usually spawns after two minutes. So I'll back super quick. I want to save my tap. Usually in the two to three minute area. Sometimes it spawns early, sometimes it spawns late, but as long as you can get back before that, it's good. And obviously now if I wanted, I could try to do the camp, but Tyrion's not much of a solo camper. Good for now. Right on time. The funny thing about Murky in games like this is normally if the other team doesn't have a lot of damage, they actually struggled to kill him. Oh no, false ad. I'd be in trouble. See if I can blow up. Oh, plus. Like our hammer stayed top. So we're gonna have a hard time winning. Winning a 4v5, especially with them having double support. A lot of it's gonna come down to whether we can kill the person quick or not. Otherwise, they'll out sustain us. So, in this case, the build that I'm going actually is gonna be pretty strong.
at a tank to towers instead of false dad. Can still tap. Don't actually need to, but <clears throat> alright, so now the fun begins. The whole point of going this build. See if it's as strong as I had theory crafted. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe uh, Kirigan, Kirigan Orioles is maybe too powerful for it. It'll get better at 10 though. Once I get Judgment, I, I should be able to just ult her. I mean, my numbers are saying that I'm doing a lot of damage. But I, I will be able to just ult her at 10 and just maybe blow her up from there. She she kind of has outplay room if she, she crystals herself. But... That's under the assumption that she will actually pass that. So yeah, so Kerrigan Ariel is actually really hard to deal with. Because Kerrigan's damage is so high. Uh, Ariel can heal a lot. So they're gonna hit 10 before us here. Well, so we try to soak this out. Guess there is no Lily. It'll be a 45 without them having 10 for a second here. As you can see, her energy just went to full almost. And there's our energy increasing again. And that's because of the Kerrigan. Almost though. We actually almost came close to killing a few people there. It actually feels pretty good. Um, I think in this game, like, because it's quick match, my composition is just far weaker than the opposing teams. So it's it's not feeling like it should in like a normal game with uh, like kind of normal builds going on, right? I think if it was that scenario, like you see there, like me and Lily were able, I was able to kind of solo kill Kerrigan, and I don't think I'm as strong as I can be as well, so. She did go Aegis. Oh, I'm so done for. Maybe kill the Nova. Plus. An interesting gust coming out from my man, Falstad. I still haven't ulted. I honestly didn't think that the if Nova was there. She did a good job of just staying invisible. So I rotated into her. Also going to be tough playing this solo tank against double support. Oh my gosh, she made it out. There we go, there's the there's the powerful Tyrael follow through. Maybe maybe it is as strong as I thought it was. You end up doing a lot of damage. If I had Angelic Might there, I think I would have done even more.
actually really enjoying the the sequence. I've, I've always liked the follow through play because I like kind of having to sequence your abilities. So I'm really enjoying that kind of play. Ah. Awesome. So against squishy carries, it's really strong. Feels really strong. Like the Nova there just kind of blew up. I do have the most damage. I think imposing still could be really good just for 1v1ing. So when the person autos you, they kind of get slowed, but. Can't even have these minions touch me. I, I'm assuming that the Nova comes after me. I'm looking here for her. So, go now. <clears throat> I honestly could find. I, I I could see a team playing this build in a tournament as the melee assassin. It's it's really strong at engaging. Um, it has pretty good sustain just because Tyrell has pretty decent uh, stats. The numbers are about right. I could also see going Holy Ground instead of Blood for Blood. Just because of how strong Holy Ground is as a talent. But I like the, the idea of exploring Blood for Blood here. So I sequenced that incorrectly. I queued, got my auto, and then I E'd. I mean, I queued, didn't auto, and then E'd. So I actually sequenced incorrectly there. Like things like that could cost kills. Still top damage this game. How am I doing on siege? Not so good. Most roll. He was all these been like I said, pretty pretty he has got pretty good stats. I go in, kill the Ariel, put out some damage. Maybe my team can turn this. I could see like Tyrael being, ooh, nice kill. I could see, see him being really good with like an Uther or a Monk, maybe even a Rhaegar, just to have, ooh, nice, good job team. Just have like a, a good, you know, he goes in and then he can get supported. I think that Murky beats really. Kerrigan finally showed up that last team fight. Good Octo, we could maybe look to boss. <laughs> I might just for the sake of the fun of the video. I think Nexus Blades is the better talent here. Uh, but I think for the fun of the video, I'm going to go Angel of Justice. Just because I want to cast 
judgment on a 30 second cooldown. That just seems overpowered. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Follow through on Tyrael. What a time to be alive, guys. Alright, because we're coring, I'm just gonna take Nexus Blades. So now my autos are gonna slow, too. It looks like you get a you get a follow through from a reactivation of your Q too. Wow, that's really big. Well, I'm glad you. I hope you guys watched the video all the way through. We just learned at the very end that you actually get an an activation of crit when you reactivate Q. That's a huge deal when you're bursting. So if you get on top of someone with judgment and you sword, you can auto then reactivate auto and then go on and sequence. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this was a this was a build that I thought about immediately when I saw the changes to material. Hopefully, you have some fun in quick match. Maybe try it in ranked. I'm not sure how good it would be, but I think if you were to try it, double tank would be great with a good CC tank in front, or potentially really good follow up behind you with Jaina Ring of Frost or something along those lines. Remember, material with judgment is great for wamboing, and with this build, I think uh, he he brings a lot more damage. As we can see, if we look at my stats than uh, people would uh, assume. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you are new to my channel and you want to throw a subscribe, I would really appreciate it. You can also drop a like. Um, you can also follow me at both my Twitch and Twitter, which will be located below, as well as check out my tier list, which is also located below. So thank you guys again. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. All right, bye-bye.